The final season of Top Boy is only a little over a week away, so there's not that much longer to wait until the final installment. And after the teaser, the trailer, and the images that have been released, we've had one final thing being released to us fans of the show. An Irish publication and website called Joe had an exclusive clip to Top Boy Season 3, which contained a real tense moment where we saw Barry Keoghan's character for the first time as he came face to face with Sully. And it's a side to Sully that we've not quite seen before. So I thought I'd break down the clip and explain what I feel it could all mean and reveal any information that's out there on Barry Keoghan's character. So let's get into it. Here is Top Boy Season 3 exclusive clip explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So the clip opens up with a moment which was just pure tension. We had Sully and a few of his boys entering some stables or a place where it sounded like pigs were being kept in a really remote location, judging by the scenery and landscape that was around it. At this point, we didn't really have a clue what Sully was looking for, but it was clear that they were looking for something or somebody, and by the end of the clip, it became clear that it was somebody. As they entered, before they could even get from one end to the other, we heard a single shot go off. And as the shot went off, we had a lingering shot of Barry Keoghan's character, who's called Johnny, entering the room. And it lingered on him for a long while, letting us get a good look at the character that's going to be a big threat in this final season. It looks like this could be the first introduction of the character, and the first time that Sully will be alongside him. With one of Sully's boys being killed after the shot was fired, we heard Johnny say, Atta boy, Billy. Good boy. Almost talking to him like he was some kind of animal or like a dog. Billy was one of Sully's boys, and it was clear to see that he informed Johnny and his gang that Sully and the crew would be heading there, so he essentially ratted Sully out. So I guess he was an animal. A rat. Billy then spoke to Sully and said, I'm sorry, Sully. I was doing you a favor. You don't want to mess with these guys showing the level of fear that the Irish gang can inflict into people. As this was happening, one of Johnny's guys brought in the person that Sully brought with him that was around the side, and they took the weapons off them all too. Johnny then spoke the line, Not get the memo, lads. Uncle Toy. He said things don't have to escalate. It still doesn't. It's up to you. This makes me think that there's somebody else alongside Johnny, who he works with or reports to. And after initially making some kind of deal with the Shane, the memo didn't get passed along to Sully, and Sully wanted to take things into his own hands. The Shane has most probably chosen the side of peace with the Irish mob in order to keep life easy after probably judging that it wasn't worth taking them on right now. But Sully had other ideas, and like the loose cannon that he is, he probably thought that he'd give it a shot. The next line that was spoken was by Johnny, and we had a major revelation about something that's to come in the new season about a previous set of characters, the Moroccans. Johnny said, We took care of the Moroccans. That end of things. You know you've got the machine that needs the product. We have the product. Let's work together. So this does make me wonder if the Irish crew have taken out the Moroccans in order to essentially plant themselves in front of Deshane and Sully, in order to make themselves money cutting off their supply and hoping that they'll take the deal that's in front of them. Because now that the Irish people have the food and the Moroccans are out of the picture, it means Deshane and Sully will need somebody to work with ASAP in order to stay in control of the streets and to prevent anybody from moving in on them. To this proposal, we went on to see Sully ask how much. The only two words that he said in the entire scene. Accompanied by a look on his face where you could sense that he wasn't really taking the threat that seriously, this was because of the slight smirk that was present, as if to imply that he thought that Johnny was joking. Johnny then responded with 50% of the value uncut, where he then mentioned how Sully could take the deal and get 50% of a lot of money, or 100% of nothing. But it was what he said next which showed the type of character that Johnny is going to be, and the type of individual that Sully is going to be dealing with in this next season. He said, or oh, you know what? Maybe I'll send your head to Tash's mother's house. Something which I didn't expect, and it immediately sparked Sully's attention, and we saw a look on his face that we hadn't seen for a long time. A look of fear. The complete opposite to the one that we had earlier where it looked like he wasn't really taking Johnny seriously. Sully's defense mechanism came out due to wanting to protect his daughter, and it looked like he wanted to rip Johnny's head off, but he stayed composed following Johnny telling him to stay calm. I feel he was more fearful of the fact that Johnny knew about his daughter and knew where she lived, rather than him being harmed himself. It showed Sully that Johnny had ample information on him and the people that he cared about. 
This showed us that Johnny is serious, and the opportunity that Johnny presented wasn't something that was optional. It was something that they needed to align with and work together on. Because if they didn't, then there was going to be serious consequences, and not only would Johnny be going after Sully, he seems like the type of character that would make Sully watch everybody he cared about get destroyed, before then finishing him off. With the scene finishing, with Johnny telling Sully to think it over and to get back to him with them walking off, it was a haunting scene that was so tense and showed us exactly what Johnny is going to be like. Plus, it also showed us that Sully could be on the back foot in this next season. He seems to have underestimated Johnny and the Irish crew, and there's definitely a sense of fear that is there from the cold-hearted, unfazed Irish lad Johnny. Something I thought was incredible about this small clip was that Sully only uttered two words. And those two words were how much, and the rest of his performance was delivered by his facial expressions and emotions, showing just how good of an actor Kano is, and how embedded into the role of Sully he's become. He barely even needs to utter a word to deliver such a convincing performance. The scene in the original Season 3, the first after Summer House where he was watching the house on fire, that's definitely one of his greatest. But this showed us that he's just getting better. Watching his mood change in this scene showed that darker things are to come for sure. Barry Keoghan also smashed it too, and I can't wait to see how he's going to be. After this clip, I went back and rewatched the trailer, and there were certain moments that made me think that the Irish gang could end up causing a lot of damage to Sully. For example, the line that Sai said about him getting what's coming to him one day. Obviously, in the context of the trailer, it was about Stefan's revenge, but the importance of the line being included in the trailer could be because he is going to face consequences for his actions, regardless, and that could be from Johnny. In the initial teaser, there was the line of Sully saying, If we're not monsters, we're food, and I could never be food. This could be related to this scene following the threat from Johnny. Sully may have never viewed himself as a monster before, but he may feel as though he'll be stepping to a new level of darkness in order to show the Irish gang what he means. Barry Keoghan's character has been left in the dark in terms of information that's out there about him, but from everything that we've seen so far, it seems like he's definitely going to be a worthy opponent and threat to Deshane and Sully. There's a lot of theories going around about his connection to Lizzie, but I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be the case. If there is, I feel they could be the individuals that harmed her family, something which was mentioned a long time ago. So, I don't think they're going to be on the side of Lizzie. So, there you have it. Top Boy Season 3 Exclusive Clip Explained. Who do you think will end up on top? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.